Hey guys, in this mini series, we're going to be building a WordPress widget. All right, and a WordPress widget is basically a plugin. Uh, it's just a certain kind of plugin. You can log in and, into your WordPress admin area and go to widgets, and then you can pretty much drag them to uh, whatever position your template allows. All right, and what we're going to be building is basically a, a Facebook like box widget. Um, so you can get a like box if you go to this URL. All right, so normally the user would need to uh, enter their page URL, uh, set up some parameters like the width, the height, the color, what they want to display, and then they would have to get the code and they would have to get this JavaScript SDK and include that in their site and then they would have to find somewhere to, to embed this HTML um, and for someone that's not a developer and doesn't know much about um, HTML or JavaScript, uh, it can be kind of a pain. So uh, this widget will just will be able to install it in a WordPress site very easily. Um, basically, just upload it, and then the user can go to the back end and go to the widget parameters, and they'll be able to edit this stuff there. Okay, instead of having to come here and then generate the code and all that all right so uh, that's what we'll be building and if you're serious about learning how to build WordPress plugins and widgets um, I suggest going to this URL okay this is the widgets API and this actually has a lot of the code that we're gonna use um, and there's a bunch of other information as well um, I'd also suggest going to the plugin API page as well all right, so this is our site. Um, actually, let me reload. That's not supposed to be there. So it's just a, basically a default WordPress installation. Uh, this is version 3.91, but I do have the, I think it's the 2012 template enabled, um, just because it's easier to see the sidebar and, and all that. All right, so with that said, what we're gonna do is open up I'm using Notepad++. All right, and I'm in my. Let me go to the root directory. Okay, so this is the root directory of my WordPress site. Okay, so what we're going to do is we need to go to the WP Content folder, and then the Plugins folder, and then we want to create a new folder. And I'm going to call this Like Box. Okay, and then in that folder. We're going to create a couple files. All right, so the first one is going to be just called lightbox.php. And then we're going to create another file. I'm going to call this one class.lightbox.php. Okay, so this will be our main file. Um, and then we'll include this, which will be the lightbox. It'll be the widget class. Um, and that's where most of our coding will be. Okay, uh, and I'm also going to create a new folder called JS because um, we need to include our JavaScript SDK. So inside there, I will create another file and I'm just going to call this, actually, I'll call it um, lightbox.js. Okay, so these are our three main files. All right, and we'll start with the the main file which is basically the entry point for the widget so the first thing you need to do when building a plugin is you need to include a comment block which basically um, shows your WordPress site that you have a plugin and it's, it displays the name and also um, you need to have it so that it'll pop up in the back end all right so we want it to show if we go to plugins all right we want it to show here so we can actually activate it okay and let me just get that code for you. Okay, plugin API. If we scroll down, where is it? Maybe this isn't the right. Okay, writing a plugin, this link here. Here we go. All right, so here we have the, I guess, called file headers. Okay, so it's just this comment block in PHP. So I'm going to copy that and paste it and we're just going to change some some things here the plugin name is going to be like box plugin uri um, i'm just going to say 
codeskillet.com description we'll just say a uh, simple plugin to show Facebook like box I believe the only field that's required here is the plugin name I don't think you need any all this uh, it's just good to have though um, just for metadata version will be 1.0 author feel free to put your own name okay URI will say code skillet.com and then license will say GPL2 that's fine all right so this is actually all we need for it to show up in WordPress so if you save that and then go ahead to the back end and reload this plugin area now you can see we have our like box plugin okay it has the description the version the author it goes to the to the author's site so very easy to actually get it to show up here all right so um, let's see I'm not going to activate it yet what I want to do now is I want to get it so we can include our JavaScript file. So we're going to create a function. Okay, and this is going to be called add underscore scripts. All right, and then in this function, we're going to call a JavaScript function called WQ, uh, I'm sorry, WP, um, what is it? N Q U E U E scripts all right and we can actually look this up all right so basically um, it has a few parameters okay uh, that actually this one here is for CSS same thing but except style all right and here's ours WP NQ script all right and the parameters uh, let's see the parameters the first one here my j this can basically be anything it just uh, basically is a context reference uh, the next one is going to be the actual URL to the JavaScript file and the false I can't remember exactly what that is um, it doesn't look like it gives us a description of the parameters example all right well basically we're just going to use false for that third parameter uh, so the first parameter I'm just going to put you want to make sure you have quotes and we'll say like box scripts okay the next one is going to be a URL or a, a link to our JavaScript file and in WordPress we can actually use this plugins underscore URL function and that will get us to our actual plugins folder alright so from the plugins folder we want to concatenate on slash like box and then slash JS slash like box dot JS and that'll bring us to our JavaScript file and um, let's just put in false for the third parameter all right so that is our add scripts function right now it's not going to do anything it's just a declaration so we have to tell WordPress when to run it so we're going to use this add action hook all right so what we're going to say is the first parameter is going to be this WP NQ script I'm sorry this first one should be script okay singular and then this here is scripts all right this is the actual hook so um, oops the next parameter we just want to put in the name of the function that we created which is add scripts okay so that should add that now what I want to do is activate the plugin So activate and then in the front end uh, let's go to the JavaScript file and just give an alert we'll say alert one ok 
Okay, so now you can see that that JavaScript is now included. Okay, we'll delete that. So that's all set. The next thing we want to do is include our class file. Okay, so we'll say include class. You should have, you should have your code um, well commented. So this will add our JavaScript. Okay, include class. We're going to use include and class dot. It's in the same directory, so just do class dot likebox dot php. Okay, and that'll include our class. And then the last thing we want to do in this file is uh, register our widget. And then all the rest of the code will be pretty much in the class. All right, so to do this, we want to say function register like box. Okay, and then we're going to call register underscore widget. And let's see, we're going to pass in like box underscore widget. And then we need to use the add action hook again. So add action. Okay, we're going to use uh, widgets underscore init. And then the name of our function, which is register like box. All right, so that's basically all the code we need for this main file. All right, the rest of this stuff is going to go into our class. And we will get into that in the next part.